Our motion synthesis framework can be conditioned on several input modalities, such as music or text. For example, let's consider these dance motions. These dance motions have been synthesized by the proposed MoFusion framework with music as the conditioning input. Similarly, MoFusion can also be trained to synthesize human motion based on text prompts like these. Conditional human motion synthesis has been an actively researched problem recently. It has various applications in virtual character animation and crowd simulation, in computer games, movie production and robotics. Its main goal is to synthesize diverse motion that is kinematically and physically plausible and faithful to the conditioning input. Here we show one such MoFusion synthesis result where the same input text is used to synthesize meaningful yet diverse motions. DMMs have been successfully used to synthesize high-quality and realistic images, point clouds and audio signals. In this work, we demonstrate for the first time how they can be employed for 3D human motion synthesis. At the core of MoFusion is a denoising diffusion model that learns to generate motion sequences by iteratively denoising a random initial noise vector. However, naively training a DMM to generate motion leads to artifacts like foot sliding, inconsistent or crooked poses, or jittery motion as shown here. Thus, our main idea is to introduce a weight scheduling strategy that ensures that the losses are applied depending on the diffusion schedule. We now show our motion synthesis results. Notice how the choreography aligns with the beats of the music. We also show in our paper that the network learns to focus attention on the occurrence of beats in the music. Next, let's compare our results with some of the existing state-of-the-art methods. we see that our choreographies are non-repetitive. Also we observe that several existing methods generate exactly the same motion as the ground truth, hinting towards overfitting. In contrast, our motions are diverse and realistic, as confirmed by the user study we conducted, in which participants were shown two motions at a time and asked to select the more realistic and semantically more accurate one. Remarkably, the users preferred our method in roughly 50% of the cases compared to the ground truth. Finally, we show the application of the MoFusion framework in key animation tasks such as motion infilling and motion forecasting. <laughs> In conclusion, the proposed MoFusion is a versatile and flexible framework that can be conditioned on a variety of inputs. It can be subjected to different kinematic losses known in the motion capture and synthesis literature. And, thanks to the power of diffusion-based modeling, it naturally affords itself to crucial applications in computer animation. Thank you for your attention.